root cause analysis there is a reason for every problem when a problem comes in life you put all your efforts and solve it but there is a systematic approach towards a problem widely used in the industry right from a standard call center to a car manufacturing unit everywhere every industry one of the main expectations for every interviews whether they ask this question or not if you are able to let them know that you know this process that creates a kind of reliability in you and chances of getting selected is more so learn this give them a hint make them ask this question and answer root cause analysis finding the root of a problem there are different standard tools used for root cause analysis but which tool to use when that's the question they are going to arrive at let's see welcome to another video So let's see the RCA tools. Five I. This is the most common tool used for root cause analysis. This is as simple as asking this question why five times. It's true that the fifth why will give you the root cause of the problem. This method is used if you have clarity on what the problem is, and not for every generic problem where you are unaware where the problem is coming from. Once you know the cause, you will further drill down to the root cause. Just see this example. The problem is water puddles found on the floor. Why? There was a leakage in the overhead pipe. Why there was a leakage? Too much of water pressure in the pipe. Why there was too much of water pressure? Faulty control valve. Why the control valve was faulty? Control valves were not inspected in the weekly inspection. Why was it not inspected? Control valves are not mentioned in the maintenance schedule. So, as an action, the control valves can be added to the maintenance schedule. And the root cause here is this is missing in the maintenance schedule. Next is fishbone diagram. This is used when the problem is generic. See this example: bad burgers. The problem here is customers are not liking the burgers. where the issue is coming from when you are unaware you need to start categorizing the issues to find whether the issue is with the materials or with the methods used or any problem with the machines or the environment issue or the measurement issue or the personal issue and you need to have causes under each header and start analyzing them once you are clear on the categorization and the cause you will take as a input to the 5i method just pause for a while and read through this next is pareto analysis commonly called as 8020 rule it says that 80% of the problems will be due to 20% of the causes but for this method you should have proper data for defect analysis Here the problem is quality issue in the shirt, and there are so many causes. But which cause to prioritize? This is the frequency of the occurrence and the defects. Most complaints are coming from the button defect and the pocket defect. And in this method of analysis, you can prioritize what needs to be addressed first, instead of wasting time on the less important ones. This method can be also used when you have multiple root causes for a major problem. Scatter plot. This method is used when there is a data correlation. There is two or more variables are related, and you should definitely have solid data for this type of analysis. The example shown here. Say I am selling certain products, certain parts to the customer, and the problem here is the customer is unhappy. some parts are expensive in spite of the good volume purchase the usual rule in the market is that someone buys more quantity will get lesser price but i have huge data and i do not know where the exactly the problem lies so in such scenario you can have a scatter plot the y axis shows the price and the x axis shows the volumes is the quantities and each dot represents where exactly the part lies so here when the prices are high the volumes are less and when the volumes are increasing 
we are able to give a lesser price but there is a point which is coming out of the line this is the problem though this part has a volume of 25000 this is costlier than the similar part and then you identify the part number which is t3 and start working on this t3 part number to understand why there is a increase in the price why this part is expensive and further start drilling down for more analysis on this part this is just a simple example but in the actual scenario you have several parts coming in these ranges and this is how the scatter plot can be utilized and most people get confused with fma fma is done before a problem occurs identify the potential causes and then take necessary actions please watch my video on fma i have given the link in the description box also please watch my video on problem solving i have given the link in the description box that explains the soft skills of problem solving and both these videos collectively makes you a better problem solver i request you to please subscribe to this channel if not done and please share with your friends and put on the like button thank you